I didn't realize this, but it's been something like five to six months since I've done a monthly favorites video. So I'm rounding them up and I'm gonna show you what I really loved in September. Let's get to it. Hello friends, before we get into the September monthly favorites, I am going to be talking about what I have on, my jewelry, all that kind of good stuff. So if you wanted to skip over this introduction and just look at the reviews, then go to the timestamp right here as usual. You can skip over all of this beginning stuff that we do each video. But first we talk about what I have on for a shirt and I am in love with this mulberry colored shirt. It is just my jam. I love purples, yes, but I also love this in between pinkish purple color. It's one of my favorites. And this is a beautiful square neckline with a little puff sleeve and it is a long sleeve with the bands right there. So I just tend to push them up and it is a tunic length, which I love, goes over everything that I want to hide, which I really like. And a jersey knit fabric, which makes it super comfortable, super easy to wash and care for, which is always a bonus as well. Then I always like to show you my earrings. I have these earrings in several different colors and I love, I think they call this one the red purple. I love this little earring. It's so easy to wear, very light, very versatile. Whether you have long hair or whether you have short hair, it just seems to go with just everything and really show up. And then my necklace is just a little heart chain necklace that I really have been enjoying and loving wearing. And all of that will be listed in the link below along with any other makeup that I wear, fingernail polish, jewelry, anything like that. You'll be able to find all of that listed and linked below. And then when I do talk about links, I always like to tell you that I have a numbering system. A number goes up here on the screen and that number corresponds with what I'm holding up for a product. You don't have to remember anything about this product. You just remember that you liked number three. Go down into the description box. Everything will be numbered one to however many we get through today. Look for number three next to it will be the product name along with the link and any other information you might need to know about color or anything like that. It's very easy to shop that way and I hope that it helps you. Okay, that is the introduction. Let's get into my September monthly favorites, probably going back a little further than that, but let's get into it and you'll get to see what I'm really in love with right now. I have some of the coolest stuff today to talk about. I mean, things that I have really, really fallen in love with a whole bunch. First of all, I wanna tell you guys about, I did a specific video Video where I was talking about how essences are game changers for women that are over 40. That video is one that if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. The technology behind using a Korean or a Japanese essence is phenomenal. I've learned this, but I also have been putting it into practice for years and didn't know it. And I get so many sweet compliments from all of you on my skin. And I truly believe that it is doing this practice that I didn't really know I was doing for years, but I was doing something right. Go figure, you know, you do something right and you don't even know it. That doesn't normally happen to me. Anyway, after that video, I did come across this toner that is called Num. I'm going to just spell it because Lord knows I'll just completely obliterate it. N-U-M-B-U-Z-N toner. It's a super glowing essence. It has a three up here and it is, I believe this is Japanese and not Korean. Now this is supposed to boast something like 50 different fermentation processes in there, which is fantastic. A fermentation process, it not only softens our skin, helps fight wrinkles, it's antioxidants. It really helps with fading dark spots. It's just phenomenal. So to have 50 of them in here, I'm loving this. And I've been using it every day since I got it. And this is so good and it's not super expensive. That's what I liked about it too. You get it on Amazon and yeah, this is the first step in having beautiful, vibrant, more youthful looking skin and I'm loving essences. They are my new best friend. From Milani, I have been absolutely in love with the anti-gravity mascara. This mascara has a hourglass wand and it doesn't have, it has a plastic bristle brush or a silicone brush. And normally I like to do both. I like to have a natural bristle brush or the regular brush. And then I like to go in with a silicone to get a bit of definition and length. This does it both. And I'll tell you what else it does that I absolutely love. This comes off so easy at night. It's just really easy. You do have to use a cleanser to take it off, but you don't have to use a super heavy duty waterproof makeup uh, remover to get it off. It's just really good. And it lengthens and it stays on all day. And I never get raccoon 
raccoon eyes. I get very voluminous lashes and you can build on it. And I, yeah, this has been wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Loving it. I've talked about this on my channel before, but I'm about, let's see, I'm probably about six to nine months into using this product. And as far as I'm concerned, I am never going to be without it. I stumbled across this on an ad. I think it was on Instagram because I was obviously searching for something for thinning hair. This is from DS Laboratories. Now they have a bunch of different formulas, but I chose this one. It's called Spectral DNC-N Redensifying Hair Therapy. So it says re restore, stimulate, and revitalize. And I am just absolutely in shock at how thick my hair has gotten. I was to the point to where I, well, you guys saw it. I had to cut all of my hair off. I love long hair. I've worn it my whole life. And I just had to cut everything off because my hair had gotten so thin and it was breaking all the time and it was just was looking straggly and it just was not a good look. So I've been using this for approximately six to nine months now. I always have little hair sprouting all the time and my hair just seems so much more thick and dense and I am in love with this. Now, yes, this is a little bit more pricey, but I'll tell you the way that I think about something like this. We all go out to eat and most of us, we go out to eat and we spend what, 20, $30 on a meal. That's $30 is approximately how much this is and it's for a month. This is worth it to me to spend that kind of money to help my hair look thicker, look healthy, really contribute to the confidence I have in how my hair is finally looking. And yeah, I'm never gonna be without this. And I actually don't use this every day. I use it every other day, right before the night that I'm going to shampoo. So I shampoo every other day. So that night, I'll go ahead and I'll put this all over my scalp. I'll really give my, my scalp a really good massage and stimulate it with one of those um, silicone brushes for your scalp, which I can link one of those below too for you. I think if you were to use it, like I said, it probably would work even more, but I love it. I really, really love it. It's just been so good. Okay, I'm gonna now, break out of the norm here. I did have somebody ask me if they would, if I would show a actual perfume video. I hesitate to do that because I've done it in the past and they don't get watched. So I'm gonna show you two of my very favorite perfum perfumes right now and they are so, so good. This one is from KLE, which is the Huda Beauty's sister. That's her her fragrance company line that she corrupt, corrupt, that she collaborates with her sister on. This smells like the yummiest, most juicy apples, and it lasts forever. This is one of the fragrances that I can put on, and I can have it on all day. It just, it smells like harvest apple time, and it's just, it's so good. This smells like fresh apples and fresh berries and uh, some vanilla in there. The minute that I was able to smell it, I fell in love with it and I had to have the big one of it. Actually, this isn't the biggest one, but I had to have one because I do love it that much. And then the other one that I really love is Burberry Her. They have a ton of these, Burberry does, but this one, it's so feminine and it still has a little bit of the fruity notes in it. I will put up on the screen the notes, which I probably, got a hair. I hate it when I got a hair. But this is a lot more floral than the Kaylee Apple one is. But oh man, I love this. And it lasts such a long time. And this is one of those that I went gaga for the minute that I smelled it as well. It mixed really good with my chemistry. You know, sometimes you get a perfume that you think is going to be just perfect. And then later on in the day, you're like, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, these two are ones that don't. They are just that good. So I really do love them. Also, I picked up two products from House Labs. Now, when I first came to you guys and I tried this on and the Patrick Ta on at the same time, one on each side, I said that I liked the Patrick Ta a little better. I actually like them equally now. This is such a beautiful foundation. I love this foundation now. It's what I have on today, and actually I have it on along with another one on the other side, so I'll tell you about that in a second. But this is a very natural looking foundation. It covers very well if I use a brush. Now, if I use a sponge, it doesn't seem to cover as well, but I'll use the brush and then I'll just go back over it with the sponge just to get any excess up. But it covers so 
beautifully. It's what I have on this side of my face today. And I got my right color. And I think that's part of the reason that I didn't like it very much. It just really brings a lot of life to my face and it wears like a dream. I mean, I can look at my face at the end of the day and go, that foundation looks pretty darn good still, which is not likely for me because I lay down a lot after I'm done doing this kind of stuff. I'm usually in my bed. So for it to look good at the end of the day means something. This is a really pretty foundation and I have fallen in love with it, but I've also fallen in love with her setting powder. Now I have mine in neutral peach. I chose to get that instead of the translucent. I don't like setting powders and I really don't like loose setting powders, but when I was in Sephora and I just stuck my finger in like that and then I went like this, I was like, this is different. And it is, it's completely different than anything I have felt before. It has such an airy light quality to it that even me rubbing my fingers together right now, I don't feel it. And it doesn't feel dry and it doesn't feel slick. It's beautiful. I really am impressed with this. I mean, this powder, it just shocked me. This blurs and it is so beautiful that I just cannot get over how gorgeous it is. And I can't get over how beautiful and light and airy it is. And every time I stick my finger in there, it doesn't feel like powder. How is that even possible? I don't know, but it's really good. And I really have loved it every minute since I got and it. And so let me tell you what I have on the other side of my face. It's the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Now, one of you were saying that this is such a good foundation and you, I don't remember what you were saying it's a dupe for, but it's a dupe for a lot of high-end foundations that are the glowy foundations that everybody's going nuts for. This is phenomenal. It's so pretty. It gives you a very very dewy look to your skin, but it still wears well and it has a medium coverage. It's very light. It doesn't feel heavy on your skin. I love it. I think it's beautiful and I think it's one that you can wear very easily on the go. And especially if you're somebody that's dry skin, whoa, you're going to love this. Now, if you're very oily, I don't think you're going to like it. But even if you are combination skin, I think that you would still love this. It's very pretty. Now, I will say that they really lean a little bit warm in their colors, just so you know that. That is one of the things that I really had a little bit of a problem with, but I did my little, you know, mixing trick and I it worked out fine. But this is really beautiful and I'm so glad that one of you mentioned it to me. And then as much as it pains me, to say this because I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is one of the most outlandish companies as far as how expensive they are. They're just so expensive. Why do they have to be that expensive except for you're paying for all of the hype that surrounds it? That's what I feel like. And it, so it really hurts my heart to have to say how much I love the new Beautiful Skin Concealer. I really do like this. Um, and I am wearing this one. Oh, I'm wearing this one on this side. Let me switch hands with it. I'm wearing this one on this side so that you know. It really is very pretty. It covers like a dream. It, you can build on it. It doesn't crease on me. It doesn't look cakey throughout the day. It's really pretty, but you can see that I do have another one in my hand here. This is from Milk Makeup. So the difference in the two of these, this is the new one from Milk, and the difference in the two of these is this one from Charlotte Tilbury is quite a bit more hydrating. So you might have a problem with creasing throughout the day. Whereas this one from Milk Makeup almost self sets. And that's why I like it too. But both of them are beautiful. I mean, I don't have a problem working with either one of them. When the dry heat comes on this winter, I know that I'm going to be absolutely in love with this one, but I love this one too. They both really stood up to the hype that I felt like and feel like they both wore so, so well. I also wanted to tell you that yes, I did put the new Patrick Ta palette, blush palette, in one of my latest videos, but I am still absolutely over the moon loving this thing. I love that he has his new highlighter in here. I love that these colors are very neutral colors. This might be a little bit more blue pink than somebody that really wants to wear a neutral, but a pink flush on a cheek is gorgeous. Babies have pink flush all the time and they're just so cute. So this is a beautiful palette. You have the creams up here. It still gets my thumbs up because it works out to be about 19 and change for each of these duos in here with buying it the, this way through the palette. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal, especially as expensive as drugstore is getting. This new nail polish that I have been wearing a lot on my channel, I have just gone gaga for. This is called 
I L okay, wait a minute. It's called I L N P, which stands for I love nail polish. And these nail polishes are so pretty. Now you can't see this right here. You're not going to be able to see too much of the reflect that it has in it, but it kaleidoscopes through just all different colors. I mean, there's blue, there's gold, there's the beautiful pale rose in here. There's just so many colors in here, purple, all kinds of beautiful, beautiful colors in here. And I bought this as a set and it comes with six, which I thought was a pretty good deal. You know, polish isn't cheap anymore either, but I love this formula. I can wear it for such a long time. And I think it's because it does have the reflect or the metallic look in there. It wears a super long time. So I'm not gonna tell you that this is a two week nail polish. It's not, but because I do my own nails and I don't wear gels and, or go and have them done or anything, I can get about five to seven days of polish without chipping or peeling or anything like that. Love this nail polish. It's such a pretty, pretty color anyway. And when I got it, I was so disappointed. I was like, well, that's kind of boring. And then after I put the two or three coats on that you have to, to get it to build up, it's beautiful. And I, yeah, I've been wearing them nonstop. Oh. I want to tell you guys about this Con Air Infinity Pro. This is the Knot Doctor. This is one of the hair dryers that is also a round brush. And this one is oval. It's got a very big brush on it, as you can see. For my length hair, my hair never gets tangled in it. It does a beautiful blowout. All the other hairbrush dryers that I have tried in the past, they've all really gotten too hot. So my hair is very straight and fine. And if I get too much heat on it, it's going to start to show damage. This, you can turn the heat down, but even the high, high heat, it's not terribly hot. I love using this. And instead of a dryer, it's about what I reach for 90% of the time because it gives a little bit of a bend. And as you can see, what I'm showing right here is that it does detach and it comes with this one, but it also comes with this like hand wand thing right here that you can put on and you can you know go up under your hair and you can dry your hair straight if you want to now i did find on amazon a couple of attachments this is just a standard brush attachment that goes on it so if you want to do just the regular you know straight brushing and get it dry that way and have it be very sleek you can use this one it's great but i also found this one for those of you that might have shorter hair this is the medium one this medium one works really good for me on the bottom right down here because that's pretty short. So I love this thing. I am really impressed at the quality of it. And I'm also impressed that it doesn't burn my hair. That is the biggest thing that I had a problem with these. And I am so excited to have this. It does have the ion technology, which pulls the water out of the air and it draws the moisture to your hair so that it looks very shiny and very sleek. And I really, really love this thing. And then the last two things, first of all, and from Penn Smith Skincare, Penny, she told me about, she told everybody, not me. I act like she's my own personal esthetician. <laughs> she talked about this uh, from Thank You Farmer, the Sun Project Shimmer Essence. This is an SPF of 30, great ingredients in here, but it also has this absolutely beautiful quality of just having it's not really a shimmer, it's a glow. And it's so pretty on your skin. And I have been loving this as a primer. That's what she was talking about she uses it as. She doesn't use it like her everyday um, sun protection. She just uses it as a primer. And hopefully you're gonna be able to see what I'm talking about there. It has this just luminosity to it. So when you put it underneath a foundation, it brightens that foundation. And as it mixes with it, it's just, it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. So this one was one that I was really glad that she mentioned in her video because yeah, it's one of those ones you're like, this girl knows what she's talking about and I am going to love everything so, she loves. This one, I did get sent to me. I'm almost out of it. I am ready to repurchase it on my own. This is from Rovectin, Rovectin and I've talked about this before on my channel. This is the Skin Essential Barrier Repair Face and Body Cream Advanced Formula Hypoallergenic. The reason that I love this is, you know that crepey, yucky skin you get as you get older and your skin gets a little looking a little crawly like alligator skin or elephant skin? This is the nicest, most yummy, creamy, beautiful, long-lasting lotion that I have tried in a very long time. Now, I don't use this on my face, but you could. I mean, this is a huge thing. Can you imagine how long it would take you to get through this if you're using it on your face? I have used 
it on my face and it works wonderful because it sinks in like no other, but it is uber hydrating and I love that. My hands are looking so good lately with this and I'll just push it up and I'll use it wherever I want to because this is not terribly expensive for a big, huge one of these. I really love this line anyway. They also have an essence. They also have a body oil, which I love for putting this on my feet and then I'll put the oil on and then put socks on. And boy, my feet are so soft the next day. They are great. So this is a huge thumbs up for me. And I am so thankful that they, this company, they sent me their whole line, but I love this lotion because it really truly does stick around. It's not one that's going to, you know, you put it on, you feel like, oh, I'm so hydrated. And then a half an hour later, you're like, my hands feel like they're sandpaper again. It's not like that. It's really beautiful. I love it. Okay. I went through that really fast, but I didn't want it to take a long, long time. What have you found that I need to know about? You guys, I need your input. Give me your input. I need to know everything that you've been trying. I love our comment section because there are just oodles and oodles of wonderful suggestions down there that we get from each other. And I'm telling you guys, when you guys start talking about something, I'm clicking straight over and I'm buying it and giving it a try. Almost 90% of the time I do that. Thank you guys for participating that way. I really do appreciate the interaction that we have. You're the best part of my channel and you're the best part of my day too. So I love you very much. And as we go out of here, I'm going to put up another video right here and I'll see which one was the last one I did of the favorites videos and it's going to go up right here for you so that you can look at it. Please take care of yourselves. Come back around really soon. Love you much my friends. Please take care. Bye-bye.